In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this deck titled Cheese. So the whole point is to mill this guy and this guy and bring them back. So if you don't know, this guy, uh, 9 drop 9 4, Relentless Attack, deal damage to your opponent equal to half their health, round it up, and he has Relentless, so he's just super obnoxious, super hard to deal with. And then we have uh, Grimgrin, Hulking, Scab, A drop 9 8, Relentless, after... Grim Grin is summoned from any graveyard, transform an enemy creature with the least power into a zombie and gain control of it. So it's very potent if they only have one thing, right? Shadows of the Past is just like the last bomb to refuel and bring back some stuff. Ebon Death, de uh, flying debut, summon the strongest creature in any graveyard. That's going to be us, most likely. Uh, Goo Caller's Grimoire. Six drop, two charges, activate, destroy a friendly creature to summon the strongest creature in your graveyard. Fearsome Return, summon the strongest creature in your graveyard. <laughs> uh, Foul and the Infest are here just to buy some time to do these stupid things. Uh, Corpse Conveyor, activate mill the top creature from your deck and summon a zombie. So that zombie can also be used to sacrifice to the Grimoire. Stitch Drake, I know there's probably some other blue cards out there people are using with this deck, but I like this card. And it discards a random card, so it could hit something big that's in your hand, and having a 3-4 flyer is always good. Uh, let's see. Merchant of Death. We just want to draw. Drain Blood. Same thing as the Infest and the Flagrant Foul. It keeps us alive. Uh, Scissor Supplier. 2-drop, two 2-3. Two, debut and Finale. Add two random creatures to your graveyard. So either way, you're going to thin out your deck, so you can either draw your Grimoires or your Fearsome Returns, or you're actually going to mill the... Uh, creatures we want to mill. Zombify, drop the zombie from your graveyard and summon it. So this is a zombie, and this is a zombie, and this is a zombie. So yeah, I think you get that. Now this is my, um, I don't think I've seen another list run Snapcaster Mage, but um, I like it because it allows us to get the Fearsome Returns again, allows us to uh, get Shadows of the Past again, allows us to get our Zombify again. So just another way of just Constantly bringing back giant stuff and annoying the opponent. Matron Malice, one drop, three, one. Ward can't block at the end of your turn. If four or more creatures entered the graveyard this turn, summon it from your graveyard. So that includes um, Stitcher Supplier, um, Corpse Conveyor, stuff like that. At least I hope so. I mean, that's how it's worded, so I'm hoping it works like that. And then also for some more removal and stabilization, after an enemy creature survives a fight, destroy it so we can just chump with like snapcaster mage merchant death um, and so on and potentially get some more uh, value also um, we can just block with a zombie and take out something giant so let's see how it goes i've never played this archetype before but it looks fun that was super fast oh come on man i can't escape this guy at least it's not a mirror match. It's like the first video in days where it wasn't a mirror match, right? So that's something, I suppose. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's taken a while to get in here, isn't it? Let's sling some spells! Hopefully we can cheese the Dritzt. Well, really wish we had four cards to see, um, or, you know, first turn. I'm just going to keep the foul as some removal and hope that we get some reanimation cheese. Oh Lord, it is clunky. Well then, let events take their course. What do you Maybe my build is super trash. You know what, I probably just should have milled, uh, Mulligan the Foul too. I'm trying to play like conventionally, and I need to just go all in on the garbage, right? I don't know why it's super laggy and very slow. You guys notice that? I hope they go wide with heralds and all kind of stuff. Okay, we have conveyor belt for next turn. That's 
not good. We can at least chump the 1 3. Well, I might just chump the 3 4 so we can infest, right? That's very strange. Very nice indeed. So we got one of the big boys in the grave. That's unfortunate. I can foul the wolf and uh, try and slow him down a little bit that way. Honestly, Infest looks better though. Infest looks a lot better. Basically makes it to where I'm taking one damage next turn unless they drop a legendary, which you know it's grits, so it would pr it's probably gonna happen, especially because it's turn four, which is like their magical turn. Let's do this first. Okay, now we can uh, thin out our deck a little bit, so now we can block the wolf and not take any damage potentially. Inspire them. Figures. Yeah. That they draw it immediately. So we're gonna block the doggo, obviously. Next turn we can block the wolf and then drain blood the following turn. Well, I just found a better thing to do. That's pretty funny. Big fan. And it has Relentless. And we are gonna block, so that way we can drain blood and then smack him for like a billion. deck. Uh, and by garbage I mean super cheesy and unfair. Okay, we'll Snapcaster, it's fine. Getting another dude bro that we can then um, sack if this dies and then bring him right back. And if he doesn't summon at least two blockers, we can just foul one of them and attack for game. Oh, is that, um, is that my homie? Uh -huh. I don't know what his in-game, I think his in-game name is that. I'm not actually sure. I'll have to check after this. This might be my homie. Alright, cool. Well, we got the game with cheese. If that is indeed my homie, I apologize. But, um, that was, that didn't even feel like a game, right? That was just kind of like autopilot garbage that was really broken. Okay, I would imagine this is favorable, but the constant healing is kind of annoying, I guess, if I take a while, but I guess none of that matters if I get an attack off with um, that 9 drop, right? Because it's just going to cut it in half. The can't attack spell is kind of annoying, though. I'd have to, like, kill my own dude. Um, or summon another one, I guess. Um... Let's worry about reanimating stuff once we have tools. Okay. See, now I have a reanimation spell and something to dump, so. Yeah, I like this curve. Two into three. And a four? This is this is nasty. Okay, so my invest is gonna mess him up pretty well here. Uh 
Oh man, I forgot the Stitcher Supplier is... I keep thinking that it's two random creatures from your deck and not random creatures. So that's coming out like instantly. I keep forgetting that because it's never been like that. It's always like in Magic, it's your deck. Well, I'm not just gonna take damage. It has been an honor. You requested a new sword? Okay, my um, zombie can block that and then set up for infest. Yeah, so Stitcher Supplier is just... I keep thinking it's like Magic Stitcher Supplier, and it's not. It's Spellslinger Stitcher Supplier. And the difference is enormous. So what would I put... What am I going to put in its place? Um, I don't know. I have to look at it. I might address it before the video starts. I guess this deck would be beyond crazy if um, we stand together. that was the case. So I'm not going to infest yet because I'm not getting enough value. I can get another zombie. Um, he's probably going to put it on the 2-3, right? On the 2-2? Make it a 2-3? Because changing this from 4-1 to 4-2 doesn't matter. But it saves this from being infested. So it should go on this thing. But... Um, Apparently, this is a really hard decision. There's no difference between 4-1 and 4-2. And why would you give it to make this a 1-3 versus this a 2-3? Like, it makes no sense. It's obviously this thing. I don't understand. Man, they got the whole thing, like, blinged out, too, huh? It's okay. That is really dumb that the feathers don't move in this premium. That's really lazy. They should absolutely move. I mean, this dog's nose can jiggle, which makes like no sense, but these feathers aren't falling. Like, excuse me. Like, see, the ember effect's really cool here. Like, they have the ability to make such good premiums in this game. I hate it when this is it's not utilized. Like, this needs to be fixed. Did they lose connection? Like, what the heck happened? Look, if they put it on this guy, that's fine. I'm just going to infest and blow him out. Now is the moment. So. Hmm. Is it going to go on itself if he doesn't pick a target? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if they just scooped that they realized that we're gonna get cheesed to death. I'm not really sure, but I think we won this game. We had infest, we had foul, we have reanimation stuff. We had all the goodies. Alright, so now we might actually have the mirror match. And I was thinking about it and um while that was while I was waiting for that to match up, and I think I'll just play like Infectious Scorpion or something like that to just have a little bit more uh, removal instead of the Stitcher Supplier that doesn't act like Stitcher Supplier. So Hopefully this isn't a mirror and they're just playing traditional zombies, but, you know, hard to say. Well, I don't want Stitcher Supplier, and I don't want this, so Conveyor and something that reanimates seems good. I, like, never want to draw this thing, so that sucks. Um, if I draw the Drake, that would be super good. Okay, so they're not running the reanimation stuff. At least, probably not. That's honestly also another card you could run just to have a little bit more early interaction while you're setting up your combos and stuff. Okay, so this is just a very typical Liliana list, but it might take us out because I, I don't even want to block this because it's just going to take one of my dudes, right? Yeah, they're going super aggro. I don't have an infest. I don't have drain blood. <laughs> Um, yeah, just kind of sad. There's Drain Blood, so we're actually going to do this. So in the future, I can get a zombie and start blocking, right? I really hope that's all they do, and that would be really great for me. You die your best bet, best death girl. Alright, so I gotta start setting up here. Ah, man. 
that was the next creature on the top of my deck. That would have been really great to draw for um, the Lich, right? No way I'm blocking that. Oh, you know what? I just realized that my current build makes this a lot worse by um, making the top card of my deck like not a bomb a lot of the time. So the other versions are probably just way more consistent. Dude, what are the chances of that, man? Two drakes on the top. Yeah, and this Stitcher Supplier would be a spell or just something else entirely. Um, yeah, this is not good. Yeah, there's too much, there's too much, um, creatures that don't matter, which is also probably why they don't run Snapcaster Mage. So I'm gonna block this one and I'm gonna leave the closet alone. Man, two Stitch Drakes, man. I would have drawn one and then had the um, Lich in my grave. I think Stitch Drake is still good, though. <laughs> Snapcaster is probably too cheeky. Infest? Ooh, let's go! Let's go! Wait, you know what? Before I do anything... Oh, no, no, no. I should have done that if I was going to infest. I'm dumb. I should have infested first. Like I had been the whole time. <clears throat> I just wanted to see if I wanted to reanimate something huge. Wow, I can't believe they block like this when this is gonna go away. Um, that seemed really bad. Uh, so here we go. And here we go. So they've got a 1-1 one, one flyer. I might just get to the point where I'm actually just playing the Lich, right? Yeah, I figured. In a funeral. My army grows stronger. <laughs> yeah, I might be toast here. I don't even think I have a zombie that's that impressive. Yeah, I don't. I put the fun in a funeral. I have a drain blood. Let's see that again. <laughs> Instead of Snapcaster, I think I just run Shell Game in the future. Checking my Discord messages to see if that was, um, indeed. The Ghost Master. He might not even be awake yet. Really glad. Well, not really glad because now this is a thing. I have to block. Because if I don't, then he just has like any removal next turn and I'm dead. So I'm gonna try and bring stuff back and block again. I guess that's true now anyway. I have to draw like a one or two drop to stand a chance here. Ah, uh, then there's old graveyard messing me up. Okay, zombify helps. Okay. Yeah, this game kind of like really showcased how clunky the version I made is. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Another infest might save me. That is not it. That is not it at all. Yeah, and this card just shouldn't even be here. 
Yeah, honestly, I think bringing these 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 guys back is actually really strong too. Um, yeah, let's do some kind of damage, right? Yeah, I really like bringing them back. They bring them. Okay, I guess they were never a premium. Trample. Jeez. Wait, what did he do? Did he play that green spell? Yeah. So dumb. So I would take 15 here. Oh, that's the one, that's the only one I didn't want to block. I completely fumbled that. Oh, it doesn't even matter anyway, because they're all just too big. Okay. Yeah. I might have to, um, I might redo this video, uh, basically an updated version. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get some of the final thoughts in a moment here. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this and make it a lot better. So I don't I don't like uh, Snapcaster. We already have so many things to reanimate. It's just kind of extra. I do like the Stitch Drake, however, and Stitch Supplier is really stupid. Let's see. I think the rest is okay. I just have to find. I don't know how how I feel about this trap either. So let's take a look. Anticipate. That's what I'm supposed to run because it helps me find my pieces. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Anticipate is obviously way better. So now we have all the, the blue cards, right? Yeah. Okay. And now I feel like I just need some early interaction that's not a creature so it doesn't mess with what I'm trying to accomplish, right? I can see Rave of Enfeeblement, honestly, it's not bad. Yeah, I want something earlier. Crippling Bolt's not terrible. Oh, I think um, Break a Leg was something that I had seen as well. It's honestly not bad for dealing with aggression. Neither is Grave Disturbance though. Yeah, I might run, I might, I'd probably just run Grave Disturbance because um, you have more targets for this, right? And it would give you a target for this too. Yeah, I'd probably just try Grave Disturbance and see how that works. So this would be a lot closer you know what, let me take a look at, if I didn't do Drake, what other blue things would I run to make my life easier? You could run something like this. Even divination might not be bad to just draw into what you're trying to find. Mage of Insight probably wouldn't be too bad either. Shell game wouldn't be bad. Yeah, shell game wouldn't be bad. I just really like that the Drake can get rid of them from the hand if you draw into them. So I think this is the version that I would play if I were to play this deck again. I think this is I think this is now the current version. Let me um, I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can see it in list format in case you want to take like a picture or something like that. So there you go. I think that's the version I would be going with if I uh, played the deck again. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like, please leave a comment, something. I've got like 106 subs left before I get monetized at 1k. Um, I'd really appreciate it and um, I will see you guys tomorrow.